So what happens every hurricane season? Well, we get a lot of near misses. It's just that little little Maria had her number. And every 15 years or so, we get a direct hit, and that was it. But there's so, usually maybe category one or something, but nothing like this. We are here in beautiful Puerto Rico. It is a tourist destination for many tourists around the world, but it hasn't been for the last year since Hurricane Maria devastated the island. And we were here yeah. two months before it happened. Yeah. Two months before we were dancing in the streets, taking in the beautiful weather, the beautiful food, mm -hmm. the beautiful people. We met salsa dancing. And so um, this country is very special to us because of the music, the people, some of the most beautiful people you've ever met in your life. We wanted to come and visit the island. We wanted to see for ourselves, what does a country look like after it's been devastated by a hurricane? And we wanted to meet the people, hear the stories and listen to directly from them what it has been like for the last year in their efforts to recover. Right. 10,000 businesses are still closed, making up 20% of the island. We want to figure out how we can help them. We're going to be going to Umagao, one of the regions that were hit first mm -hmm. by Hurricane Maria and one of the regions that have received the least amount of aid. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go listen to their stories. We're going to meet the business owners that were affected and we're going to take you guys along with us. So let's go, let's do this. Let's go see Puerto Rico. We love you, Puerto Rico. So we literally asked to get out just to come off the side of the road just to see the impact because this is unbelievable. Look at this. You can still see like almost a year later. The direction of the wind. Wow. That's a water park or was a water park. We just arrived in Umacao and like we said before, this was the place that got hit first yeah. by Hurricane Maria and one of the last places to get help. We want to show you the power of the storm and the winds and the destruction that still exists. Look at this. These were trees that were literally ripped out of the ground because of the hurricane. Look at the roots. Look at the roots, guys. Look at the roots. If you guys want to see what the roots of a palm tree look like, there it is. And this is not like, oh, the hurricane happened yesterday. This is almost a year ago. This is what it looks like a year later. Wow, with the beautiful beaches, water parks, a destination for families to come on vacation. Right. But now, Humacao is a ghost town. Wow. Look at this frame. Do you know how thick this is? This is thick. Look at this. Just torn. That looks to be a slide, like a water slide that was literally ripped from the ground. Look, here's another slide. Another slide that was ripped from the ground. This is a place where we should be hearing children laugh and have fun. The sound of laughter of children playing. It's empty, there's no one here. No. Look at that. This is ripped. metal. It's just sad. You can imagine what this was when it was flourishing. Almost a year after the storm, global aid and attention has dwindled while the situation is still dire. Okay, that used to be a pier. That used to be a pier? Used to be a pier. People used to be able to go fishing and sell to the local restaurants, and that's not happening. Literally. Literally gone. It's, it's like torn. It's gone. to the land, agriculture has suffered, fishing is almost non-existent because they don't have a pier, a lot of the fishing boats have been destroyed and so local businesses can't survive because what used to be a thriving economy uh, with fishermen providing fish and people going and visiting restaurants and, and just 
a normal community is no longer. Small businesses are the lifeblood of Puerto Rico's economy. Yet following Hurricane Maria's devastation, more than 10,000 of the island's small businesses are still closed. We just met with a family of fisher people, because it's fisher fishermen people, and fisherwomen. The women do it too. And they were telling us the stories about how they were devastated mm -hmm. by Hurricane Maria. And they were just telling us about the six foot waves that were coming in and the businesses that were completely destroyed mm -hmm. and all communication was gone. So no internet, no cell phone. There are only a handful of restaurants that are open now. And so these people that are fishing really have nowhere to sell their fish to. They haven't received any money to recuperate all those losses. But there are some amazing organizations on the ground right now, like Mercy Corps. Of course, Google.org mm -hmm. is here. The Hispanic Federation is here. So there are people on the ground here that are ready and have been helping mm -hmm. from the beginning. But we need more help. Yeah. We need more help. Puerto so Puerto Rico needs us. And what do they need? They need money. They need money. Basically, they need money so that they can uh, fix the grid, they can help small businesses, they can give them the assistance that they need so that they can open their doors up. This is their livelihood, this, this is, is how they feed their families and the only way they're going to be able to do that is with our help. Yeah. So we want to help, we want you guys to help. I'm going to link down in the description below where you guys can help. Google is actually going to donate up to two million dollars in donations. Google.org is matching donations up to two million dollars but we want to we want to surpass that two yeah, million dollars. We want to make it bigger, we want Puerto Rico to be strong yes. and resilient so that in the future when storms hit it won't affect them like it did this yeah. time well, let's do it together guys mm -hmm. family thank you guys for watching we love you guys like I always say we're gonna take you everywhere mm -hmm. with us and the good and the bad the good and the bad guys but there's hope and we are the hope we are yeah. the hope for Puerto Rico and we can be there to help them and so one dollar at a time every donation at a time we can help them to recover and restore and be strong. We love you guys and we love you Puerto Rico. Te queremos mucho. Mwah. Thanks for watching everybody. Please like, subscribe and leave a comment down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click on the icon on the left and a little thingy will pop up and you get to subscribe. If you already have subscribed, please forget everything that I have just said. It's my radio voice. Bye.